Hey guys, another video for the playlist. Uh, I've done a lot of videos on my Ram. Picked up this 16 Camaro SS. Uh, I've seen guys do a lot of, you know, their amp setups. Um, not judging anybody, I'm just letting you know this is mine. Um, obviously all the carpeting and everything's been uh, removed so I can install this because once the carpet sits, it actually sits over this. But uh, that's what it looks like and if you can picture all the side and back pieces on, and then that speaker will be in the car. Um, I actually did this too. This is an aftermarket thing. Uh, I got this all, pretty much all the parts on Amazon. Just search them. Um, 2,000 watt amp. I got a capacitor, which you'll see that in a second. That's the part number. Um, I've seen a lot of guys do light mods. If you're wondering why it's so bright in there. Went and got one of those little sticky tapes. You can see it and just stick it on there. It's that I don't know how many LEDs are on the little pad, but I basically just soldered it into the factory one, shoved an LED in there. Wasn't bright enough for me. Um, but anyway, getting off track. So here's my setup. This is what I did. Um, what I want to do is put a piece of plexiglass under here. I'm going to put an LED light. I don't know if I'm going to have it flash to the base or it might be just solid, but that's something I want to do in the future. But let me show you this thing. See, I'm going to have to put the phone down. Sorry, not a professional. <clears throat> Alright, so basically here's the setup. Um, got your capacitor, amp, obviously, power wire, ground wire, everything's two gauge, everything's crimped, soldered heat shrink and all that stuff um starters something's missing uh my fat i have a non-bose uh speaker system what i had to do was so i can fit all this stuff in there i went and put it get the light out of the way i went and put it right there i didn't have to drill any holes um use screws and nylon nuts so it doesn't back off um but you can see i mean it moves a little bit but i mean it ain't going anywhere um, got the, what is he called, sub-trump, um, T-harness, um, as far as these things, ugh, got that on eBay, I'm gonna bring that back, one cool thing is it has a remote wire, so when it feels signal from the RCA or get signal, it turns the amp on, um, what I'm doing is, I just use a remote wire, just for the video I put it to the positive, but I'm just gonna get one of those little fuse things where you put the two fuses in, and the amp's going to turn on only when the car's on. Uh, I'm not going to car shows. I don't need it to be on while the car's not on. System like this, because it's two 1,000 watt amp. If I haven't said that, I don't need to drain the battery. Um, everything's two gauge, or I think I already said that. I just basically soldered. You can see here, I just got some uh, RCA wires and soldered the ends. You don't need these boxes. Um, some have uh, noise reduction or whatever in them. Yeah, that's not bad, but I'm not getting any noise um, So it's it's running good for me I'm um, trying to think what else as far as this guy because the plates there What I did was you got three mounting points over here and here and under the wire here that thing that plastic is like that thick um, I Don't know I want to say three-eighths maybe thick so what I did was I took a side cutter and I just cut it down to a quarter. So obviously it lowered that. So when I put that plate down without the amp in there, I took a ruler and it clears all day long. So as far as the box, um, oh the plate, sorry, not the box. Um, it's just carpet. You get it from Hobby Lobby. My wife drags me all there. I mean, you can do this thing in, in leopard skin or zebra or you know, get stupid with it. But basically, as far as building this, my first time I built it out of plywood, because of clearance and height, it wasn't working out, so the amp is flush. Um, but I measured, you know, all here, my clearance is here, which would be, you know, your height to here to bring it level. You got to have clearance for all this, both sides. Um, basically, spray glue, kind of see it right there. Pulled it over, uh, stapled it, hammered it down, glued it. Um, Put the bottom piece as far as that. Where I put that hook? Yeah, see the light just turned off for the trunk. You can see the difference. Um, but this guy, 
I just put it, I mean, you get the point, but put it on there, traced it, cut it out, and then got another piece, rugged it just a little bit bigger, put it on there. And like I said, this goes in here, you buy these things on Amazon. Basically, that's how I got it, where I got the snug fit. Um, and pretty much that's the gist of it. As far as guys getting noise and back feed through the speakers, I don't know if those guys are doing four, you know, all the speakers in the car. I'm just doing a sub. I just want a little bump. Wait, let's see here. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. I don't get in trouble for the song that's playing. But, I mean, even the volume off. I'm not getting any kind of back feed. No noise, no nothing. But let me give you a quick demonstration. Of course, it's a commercial. Let's see. Just give me a song. With ransoms on the way for you as well. Stand by for Let's try that guy. Should have just played the SD card. Um, obviously, there I only got one speaker hooked up just for this video. Um, this game thing, it runs to the front of the car. I cut it down and just made it uh, three feet long for now. I don't think I'm going to run it inside. But the gain's turned down. I'm going to turn the gain up right here in my hand. I don't know if you can really, I know it probably doesn't justify on the phone, but when you see that speaker hitting, dude, it's hitting hard. I went in the house to get something and it's vibrating the whole inside of the house. I'm, I'm not really getting any good bass lines. But anyway, anything I can help you um, answer a question or anything, um, just send me a comment, thumbs up, all that good stuff, I guess, what people do now. Let me turn this off. But again, no back feed inside the car. Maybe again, since it's only a sub I'm doing. But obviously I'm going to clean up the wires. This is dinky ass wire. I'm going to get the proper thickness. My other issue is I got 30 inches between here and there. And I kind of measured and I think I have just 30 inches. But I still have to put the panels back on, which are way back over there. If I have to, I'm going to cut this lip and then re-carpet it. Um, I got left over. I can go get more so everything matches. Um, that's it, guys. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff. There's plenty of videos out there. Everybody's done everything, so I'm probably not going to do too much. But if I do something a little different than anybody else is doing, I'll post it. See you later.